All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Laura Canfield Show, the Awakening Happiness Now Global Series. Thank you so much for being here with us today. And today, my good friend Martina Whitehouse is back with us. And today we're talking about becoming a powerful co-creator. Yes, my voice is acting up, but it's nothing. It's no big deal. We'll, we'll just talk through it. Um, so becoming a powerful co-creator and what that means, especially as we're beginning the new year, right? And new energies, new everything. And so we're going to talk about that. We're going to take some live caller questions. Um, and, you know, part of what we're going to talk about how it, is that we are all an energy spark that brings creation to life. And everything is deeply connected to everything else. And what you are creating for yourself is also being created for others. That's how powerful you are. Each one of us is very, very powerful. And we forget that, right? And uh, even in the deepest of lockdowns, you have never been alone and you are not alone now. Physical isolation does not mean that you are separated from everyone and everything else. That's only an illusion. We're all connected, right? And your influence always goes out as a frequency that vibrates into a spark of creation. So what are you creating? So the, the decision to allow all that is and to choose your experience of it and within it is the path of divinity. And creating unconsciously creates an unconscious world. Creating consciously creates a conscious world. I talk about this all the time. It's like, what are you creating consciously? What are you choosing? What are you, you know, how are you taking action? What energy are you vibrating at? What's your frequency like, right? We're going to talk about all of that. And for those of you who don't know Martina, she's been on our show many times. And it's always a high vibe call, lots of new energies, lots of new information. Um, and Martina is an alternative health practitioner. She's a medical intuitive healer and communicator who works with both humans and animals to facilitate healing in the body, mind, and soul. And so we're going to talk about all of that and more, but mostly it's about becoming a co-creator, being empowered in that way. So please join me in welcoming Martina to the show. Well, Martina, welcome back. Thank you, Alara. Hello, everyone. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you for having me again. <sighs> Absolutely. <laughs> so there's a lot going on, right? And um, there's a lot of energies happening. There's just so much. So let's um, right. let's let's start talking about what does it mean to even be a co-creator? What does that even look like? Let's start there first. First. Well, that could be like an evening filling discussion. What is what does that mean? But anything you create for yourself is also mm -hmm. affecting everyone else. So with every single thought, with every single word, with every single action, everyone else is influenced. Mm -hmm. So this is how deep it goes. So if you are in a shitty mood, this shitty mood goes out there. Other people that are open to receive that frequency they will receive and it will then on top of that bounce back to you even more stronger. That's the power of co-creation. And when we start focusing on what we want, when we start having an awareness of our thoughts and stop them in the track, when we notice, hey, that's a negative thought, asking ourselves instantly questions of well, is that even true? Is it mine? Those things are not ours. We have been programmed. From the moment where we have been conceived, we have been programmed. And that goes deep. We are running on other people's perception and their beliefs. Those other people are mom and dad and siblings and the family, later it's the radio and the television and society and religion and school. Everybody is putting in their information, but where does that information come from? From their ancestors. And it's all human made. Every single book you find out there, every single bit of information is human made. And with that, it comes with ego, programming and limitations. It might be someone's truth, but not necessarily the truth. Or your truth in the moment. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> and that's why it's so important to ask these questions. It's like when you have a thought that doesn't feel good, for example, or that is disempowering, that's, I think that's when I like to ask the question, okay, is this even mine? What is this? Where is it coming from? 
you like, know, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense to me. I, it doesn't light me up. It doesn't empower me. It doesn't move me forward in my life in any way. It's limiting me. Right. So exactly. most of those thoughts, and we have them like a lot, right. We have those thoughts a lot in our heads, but not just the thoughts. It's also sometimes feelings and emotions that we are picking up from other people. Right. And our past as well patterns. Um, and so even those ones, we can also choose to not give them power, right? Exactly. It's about acknowledging that they are there, noticing it, but not owning it. When you start owning it, like going down this spiral and then be in the rabbit hole, that's not what we want. We want to see it. And we also only want to look at it in the here and now for, for my part. And that's what I teach with my clients. I do not even have to know where it comes from. Mm -hmm. If it's past life or if it was my mom or my dad. No, the only thing relevant is what does it do to me in the here and now? Absolutely. And totally that's agree. the easiest thing. I mean, if we follow what I believe is truth, there is no time. Everything mm -hmm. happens now. So everything else is happening in another timeline, lifetime, different universe, different dimension. So how can I possibly find out where something comes from? Mm -hmm. But I can look at it. What does it do to me now? Yeah. And then I can start releasing it. And, and that's the thing. It's like we have all gone down that rabbit hole. Right. Trust me, we've all done it. Okay, I've done it. You know, many times, and it's like I still sometimes do it just for just to see how far how far will I go. You know, so that's kind of like just observe. Like I'm still observing. I'm not really being carried away by it, but sometimes I get carried away by it. You know, it's like I go yeah. into the emotions, I go into the fear, I go into old patterns. I'm like, but when I catch myself, it's like, okay, enough then I switch because I get to a point where I say enough. It's like, okay, I've indulged this enough. Now let's snap out of it. Let's keep moving right. forward. And, you know, just even that, I think is very helpful, right? It is helpful. And maybe you can confirm it's way quicker now where we like yeah. five years ago, it was sometimes three months where we have yeah. been in that rabbit hole. Yeah. And now it's sometimes hours or even hours. just minutes exactly sometimes yep. it's only minutes it gets easier and it's so powerful to look at these things take responsibility change it and then it's done yeah and i think it's important to note as well is that we are not a victim of these old thoughts these patterns these behaviors right. we're not a victim of them unless we right. choose to be exactly another choice that we have so, you know, and a lot right now in this in the past two years or whatever, the state that we're in, it's really hard. It can feel like it's really hard to really be co-creating. It's like, how can I co-create when I have all these limitations placed on me? Right. So we're not going to go into that, but how can we reclaim our power to create? It was never taken away. And that is even a benefit that I'm seeing from this whole thing happening. For me, it was funny, like unlikely, like for others, it was, oh my God, there is this pandemic, this virus, we don't know anything, oh, boo, lockdown, boo, all these crazy things. And I was sitting here and for me, it was like, oh, cool. There is a germ that will change the world. So somehow I had this peace suddenly knowing that this is exactly what we need to happen. And there were also so many beneficial things. First of all, I don't like the word um, social distancing because none of us did that really, especially you, all of you here on the call. We did connect through technology. Mm -hmm. yep. And we did maybe physically distance but never socially. But that was one of the tricks they used. It's a whole different vibration here. And then people were more at home. They learned to be 
with themselves. They could do some inner work. They got back to home cooked meals, mm -hmm. doing, I don't know, whatever they didn't do for such a long time because they were all around going out there with a the car, doing this, doing that, traveling around the world. All of that was not an option. Yeah. And True. still is not very much an option. But you could do so much internally. And the only true freedom is within. Mm -hmm. Nothing from the outside helps you to feel free if you are not internally free. You can sit in a prison and be the most happy person on this planet if you free up your mind. The prison cannot stop us from moving around. We are infinite divine beings. We are pure energy. And being pure energy, we can be anywhere. Mm -hmm. We are yeah. not limited to a place or a house or a prison. And that's something we have to remember for ourselves that we are not limited. Right, as much as we are being told right now that we are being limited and we might feel it and we might get caught up in the drama of it, but we yeah. truly are not limited. We're infinite beings, like you said, and we can create right. whatever it is that we desire and choose. Right. And this time has brought us to the point where we actually have to go within and actually look at what do I want to create? What do I want to experience? What do I want to feel in my life? Exactly. What, what is the next step for me, right? That's exactly What's, so it, uh, it, was, it was a great bonus at that part of it. I mean, I know that there are lots of people who were challenged and, um, you know, had difficulties during this time, but there are were some benefits I'm, I'm, as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm not downplaying that, but I really want to change the perception because we want to look at the positive aspects mm -hmm. of this time. And so many evil has been exposed already. So many lies have come to surface. So there are a lot of benefits right now. And although the time is so challenging, I think we will see a most beautiful outcome. It takes already a very long time. And trust and patience, which is also one of my recordings, has been challenged a lot. <laughs> but I... 150% believe we will see a beautiful outcome from all of that. So many people are awakened. Yeah, more so Only than before. The, two, the last two years, that was incredible. And um, it will be wonderful because everything has changed. People are standing up for each other. People are here to support each other. Um, I'm on Telegram and uh, are, I'm in several groups. And whenever um, somebody comes up with a real problem, they have to prove it. There are immediately people stepping up, helping, helping together, adding some money, donating money, helping with grocery. There are grocery groups all over the world now. This is amazing for all those unjabbed that are not allowed to go out shopping or anything like that, or lots of areas where there have been um, floodings, where they support people. Um, it's amazing. Yeah. And all of that happens aside of the government. Nobody needs the officials. Where are they? They are They are nowhere. They are thinking of where to use masks and what kind of test will be the next and oh, the next virus variant. Yes, of course, I forgot that. <laughs> so that was a beautiful outcome that people did remind it's we, the people that have the power. And if we stand together, they have lost. Yeah. And so, and that's the thing is like everybody is standing together and supporting each other. And so that's right. why it's so important to remember that you are not alone and that there is support for you. And how yeah. can you support each other? one another as well. And that's so easy because very often it's just to be there for one another, to listen. Mm -hmm. And don't you all think, oh, I'm not a healer or anything like that. All of you are healers already. So just 
if somebody reaches out or you see somebody struggling, just offer your helping hand. That's all people needed really is to be heard, to be listened to. Exactly. Yeah, to be seen, right? Right. Yeah, absolutely. And, and like you said, we are all healers in some way. And healing is not just like physical or energetic. It's just love, right. compassion, support. That's healing exactly. as well. Yeah, right. absolutely. I love that. Thank you. And, you know, each one of us can do our part to help our neighbor, our friends, our community, right. our family. It doesn't take a lot but just no. be there for them and be there for right. yourself. This is not just about everybody else, but are you actually being there for yourself as well? Are you supporting you? What do you require? What do you need? Yeah, That's the most important thing. And actually all you need to do, if you just love yourself and now unconditionally, so no judgment, mm -hmm. then for you, everything is solved. You start then vibrating out this unconditional love. And with that, everything and everyone around you gets infected. And for that type of infection, there is no cure. You don't need a cure for that type of infection. Absolutely. The right. Infection and of love and support. Yeah. Right. And that's basically, if you don't feel like you want to reach out to someone or be there for someone, be there for yourself honor yourself for the journey that, that you have been walking for your path. Love yourself, honor yourself. With mm -hmm. that, you're doing an amazing job and that supports everyone the most. Absolutely. That supports everyone even more than you think, right. than you think is even possible. Right. But we, you know, we've always been taught uh, in the past to put ourselves last, not even think of, of ourselves at all. Right. It's evil yeah. or it's bad to, to focus on yourself. That's it selfish, always be of yeah. service to other people. Yeah. But, it, but, you know, that's 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 not true. That's false. <laughs> so, that's but, totally if you false. do not take care of yourself, if you do not nurture you, you can't really help anybody else that, as much as you would like. If, if you um, don't feel good, then you cannot be there for anyone else. Yeah, absolutely. And then one day you run out of energy. And yeah, and you wonder, why am I so tired? Why am I so fatigued? Why am I suddenly, you know, having a nervous breakdown or whatever, a breakdown period? You know, it's like, what's going on? Well, you've yeah. depleted everything within you. Or even looking at the area of like breast cancer. Mm -hmm. If you look at women or men with breast cancer, that's over delivering, that's over giving, not taking care about yourself. Yeah, yeah, for sure. My mother is a prime example of that. Prime role model of that, actually. <laughs> I laugh. It's funny, but it's sad, you know. Yeah. Um, so one thing I forgot to mention at the beginning, Martina and everybody else, is that if you do have a question for Martina, because we're going to be taking live caller questions, please raise your hand or type your question in the chat. So Brenda had written in the chat, and I don't know when this was, Brenda. So ah, do you have an idea when this will happen? And um, I, I think it's about when this will happen, meaning when are we yep. all going to be happy, happy, joy, joy? <laughs> <laughs> well, Brenda, <laughs> if I could answer that question, I would be one of these, let's say, 10 people on the planet that knows what's going on. No, I don't know a date and I, it can happen any minute. It can happen next year. I don't know. Only thing, and maybe, Alara, you can confirm, it's in the air. You can literally feel it and sense it something is about to happen the pandemic well there is no pandemic that could end so that's a tricky question here um i think but this, even, this story that's going on right now i think um, it's going to be at least another year that's no. what that's, that's what i think no, i think so no. <laughs> they are already um pulling back more and more countries scotland today right. Scotland today removed all uh, restrictions. Um, the evidence, they can no longer deny that what they did does not work. First, they said, no, I don't want to go into exactly. that. Exactly. Yeah. It, doesn't, but, but, it doesn't really matter, but it's more and more coming to surface that nothing was real what they said. And so they can not along longer hold right, tell, this tell narrative. That, tell, Martina, tell that to my parents. Tell that to my whole family they're not seeing the same thing you're seeing. I right? know. So anyways, we're not going to go into that, right? But No, and 
at the but moment. Hold on to your vision. I, I was just going to say, hold on to your vision of what you would like to create and to see in the exactly. world. Exactly. Exactly. Right? Yeah. So, um, <laughs> Darla says, Martina is amazing with her wisdom and her love. Absolutely. There's no question. But, and at the same time, you know, what we are talking about sometimes, our families, our friends, they're not seeing the same thing, right? No. They're not seeing what we're seeing you know they're not looking at the same channels etc and so they're all they see is oh my god it's so bad oh my god there's so many more cases oh my god i, I mean <laughs> okay don't don't forget that they used really really strong mind programming methods which is absolutely insane um and this 24 7 marketing I mean, if there is a deadly pandemic, you don't have to do 24 seven marketing for it, but they have driven people totally into fear. Even if you present them bulletproof things, documents that everything was just created and all was a fake, they will no longer believe you. Yeah. Even if the government, even if it's now in mainstream television, there was a, um, it was in the, I think in 1980, 1980, 1988, something like that. Uh, the KGB was doing some experiment and they were bombarding um, some people with a fear mongering message. And uh, after two weeks, already 85% of those people were programmed to a limit that they no longer could believe, although they told them this was a lie. We just made this experiment with you. We wanted to see how quickly that goes. They did not believe. Mm, yeah. And so see that. what happened over the last two years, that was massive. I was avoiding every mainstream news, not even the sound and looking at it on a television mm -hmm. because I'm not sure if they are not using subliminal messages or anything like that. I'm sure they are. Why wouldn't they? They know what works. But anyway, that's a whole other topic. Yeah. <laughs> that's not what we're talking about today. Um, it was my fault. I brought it up a little bit more. But, but nonetheless, it, even in the situation, what we're going through, how can you still be a co-creator in your life? How can you create the world that you desire? How can you create the experience that you would like to have? Well, I can only tell some stories of uh, people that are working with me um, that were able to create a new business that did find a partner in a time where you think, well, how can you meet a partner? It's basically impossible. And if you see someone, they might be wearing a mask so you cannot see anything. But she found the love of her life. And so... <laughs> Even in these crazy times, it's absolutely possible. It was and, meant to be. Yeah. Right. And by holding the vision and to choose something that makes you excited, that keeps up the high vibration, holding the vision of a beautiful outcome that everything will be solved and kind of like renewed and maybe the evil all gone. You're okay now. Yeah, you're okay now. It's okay. Okay. Um, where have I been now? Um, <laughs> I, I this, told you it's this, crazy energies today. Yeah, no, and that's the thing. The thing is, like, uh, you know, you can still create businesses. People and this year and last year have made more money in their businesses than ever before. Right. And why? Because they're using the technology to their advantage. They're using the time that you know that they have to their advantage you know so many people are doing many more webinars and classes online than they ever did before before it was always it has to be in person right. it has to be in person now everybody everything's online so yeah. you know you can't say that business is dead yes in person businesses might have been challenged absolutely but that's when you like say okay what else is possible here what else can we do exactly right what am i willing to do now to continue to create the life that i want and yeah, now I know. It's about this vision. If you hold this vision, if you hold up the energy, it's likely to manifest. So 
what have we been told and what do we know about how manifestation works holding the vision? So it doesn't matter if those stories that I'm telling are any true because everything is an illusion. Everything is just a story, but choose a story that makes you excited, that makes you happy and looking exactly. forward and creative. And and that's the thing, that's you, 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 you just said a key point here, everything is a story. So what story empowers you? What story lights you up? Choose that story, have a vision right. for that story, feel into that. You have to have feeling, you have to really want right. it. You can't just be laissez-faire, yeah. right? You have to really want it, it has to, you know, move you, right? And don't um, frustrate people. I know that a lot of people were very um, tired and felt like not doing anything. Mm -hmm. So especially the last like three to four weeks. Yes. So nothing wrong with that. It's we, we, we were all feeling that. Yeah, absolutely. right. So um, don't mix that and it, put it on like, oh, I'm procrastinating. No, you're not. We are releasing and we are receiving a lot of energies. A lot of things were going on and full moons and new moons and all these Schumann resonance crazy. So everything is okay. If in general, you're holding this vision and taking the action when you feel like you want yeah. to do it. But you do have to eventually take some action. You cannot yes. just expect the divine to do everything for you. Okay. So no. you have to understand that there is a time and place for resting and not right. doing anything. That That's fine. But then at some point, you're going to have to take action. I can't yeah. stress that enough. You can't wait for somebody, something to do something for you. There is nobody. No. There's, it's you. It's all you. The universe wants to see some action and it doesn't even have to be a lot. Sometimes a very little thing is enough to show the universe that you're committed, but not doing anything at all, that does yeah, not yeah. work. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you can veg on Netflix for a while, but not for your whole life, okay? So I, I'm a big Netflix vegger when I need to. I am. When I, when I need to unwind, when I need to like pull back, when I need to rest, when I need to just like, I can't do anything right now because there's like so much. I veg on Netflix for a day or two, three maybe. And then it's like, all right, I'm done. But that's my way of resetting, rebooting, you know, going within. Because even when I'm watching the Netflix, for example, <laughs> I'm still receiving messages. I'm still receiving ideas. I'm still receiving stuff. And that's my way of sometimes you know, getting it. Um, so, so Rebecca says, yes, I have been so tired, sleeping a lot. Yeah. I, I have not been sleeping a lot. Oh my God. I wish I could do, you know, do something with my dog and my husband. One snores, then he stops and then the dog starts and then the dog stops and the husband starts. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so unfortunately for me, sleeping is, is, is not a good thing at the moment, but <laughs> But if you're tired, take a break, rest, yeah. nurture your body. What does your body need right, right now? Right. <laughs> Go ahead. I can talk a lot. <laughs> my voice is my voice is getting better. <laughs> you see, we only have to practice a little bit. No, that's exactly what it is about. At the end, listen inwards how you feel. And also when you said, I'm not watching Netflix, but doesn't matter sometimes. There are some old series that I really like. Um, and then there are those ideas. There are There is this input. Yeah. Sometimes it's just a word or a situation that you need. And then you feel creative. And then you do something. And it doesn't have to be a lot. It's not like, oh, I have to sit down from nine to five. No. If it's only 15 minutes, it's just 15 minutes. Absolutely. Just go out there enjoy the sun breathe have a bit of oxygen relax if you're like me you like a lot of silence right now i don't know if you can confirm um but yeah, sometimes sure. I, I, on, on sunday i wanted to um call like two or three friends i haven't been talking to for a long time but i totally didn't feel like i wanted to 
Well, you know, today my, my daughter called me and she goes, mom, you haven't talked to me since Friday, not even a text, nothing. I said, I know, sweetie, I was, you know, and then my aunt today called me. She said, are you mad at me? It's like, no, why? It's like, you haven't, you never talked to me. You, you haven't called me in, I don't know how long, you know, I was yeah. like, no, I'm not mad. This is, you know, so, you know, it's fine sometimes to pull back a little bit. Right. You need to, right. Exactly. So let that, as long as it's not from fear, anger, frustration, blah, 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 just you need to go within. You need exactly. to just pull back a little bit for a little bit of time and that's okay. Right. I mean, we are processing a lot. We are helping um, a lot of people to transform, not only those that we know, those where we work with or where we spend our days with, but it's all those people around us that kind of like seek our uh, 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 company because they notice, ah, something changes here. And so we help transform. And for me, I'm sleeping very 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 good and i mostly never recall any dreams so i'm i think i'm out there in the universe doing things um mm -hmm. helping other people being around in other dimensions being there for my clients which works wonderful by the way um when they call out for for help uh, i can just be there even at night and so we need this this time to pull back and it's it's challenging times it's um all the outside is only chaos and to not take in that chaos to have the chaos in inwards which we definitely don't want we need to pull back we need to come back and find peace within yeah absolutely and so you can do that in many many different ways meditate sleep walk just you know journal you know anything yeah um so i wanted to, to take a moment and talk a little bit about <sighs> karma and destiny so many people you know i know have said i thought this was my destiny why is this not working out what is wrong with my karma that this is not working out that this is happening that that is happening and i'm like it's not really, but okay. Um, so let's talk a little bit about that as well. Karma and destiny. What do you have to say about that with regards to creating, you know, our reality? Well, karma for me is basically the law of resonance. Mm -hmm. What I put out there will come back to me. And the destiny, that's ego. Mm -hmm. If we don't leave it to the universe, what is for us? If we like, oh, I want this. Oh, this is what. Yeah, but maybe the universe has something way bigger in store for us where we might not even think about it. So mm -hmm. it's asking our intuition. We can we can look for what makes us excited. What's that area where we really burn for that topic or this type of work it doesn't matter what it is but only put out the vision seeing ourselves doing it not how not when this is to the universe and the universe will always deliver when the timing is right when we are ready to do it and took the right action mm -hmm. now here two things come together the 3d world and the 5d world that's maybe the tricky part here yeah absolutely and a lot of times you know like you're you're recording for patience and trust right it's about being patient and trusting at the same time that what you desire what you're creating what you're taking action on will come to fruition in the right time and sometimes exactly. the right time is not our time <laughs> totally not totally not but and being okay with that and how how can we be okay with that that's exactly the point here. But this makes you truly free. If you are just happy in the here and now for no reason, looking at those things that do work. I mean, even if you have physical pain and your entire body hurts, hurts like hell, maybe your little toe does not. Maybe your left ear still is not hurting. So look at this little thing 
and talk you out of that victim mode mm -hmm. where you are like, hey, I made it again today. I did wake up. So many people do not even wake up in the morning. They have no vision. They cannot hear. They cannot speak. Maybe they have only one hand or only one leg. So look at your body and, hey, heart, liver, you did an amazing job. You got me through the night and I did wake up in the morning. I'm a wonderful divine being. Yeah. Absolutely. Pe people are looking in the outside, focusing on worldly things that they want but those things do not help you they are there's nothing wrong with that it's not wrong to drive a porsche or a rolls royce or ferrari nothing wrong with that but don't make your joy and your life depend on that the joy can only come from within and maybe you find joy in looking at this flower in spring that is just about to bloom or for me it's the most beautiful thing every morning when I go out with a dog for a walk and I see the sea mm -hmm. and for the last days we had this kind of like mystic energy there it was sunshine but not all clear and the sun was reflecting on the sea and the sea was very, very calm. Only some uh, small ripples that you could see. Just amazing. Just amazing taking energy from exactly that. Beautiful. Yeah. I'm waiting for the flowers in the spring, but in the meantime, I get to see deer every, every couple of days, you know, so that always lifts me up and brings me so much joy and peace to seeing the deer in the fields. That's lovely. Ma yeah. You could come here. There you I already know. see flowers. <laughs> it's not that far away from you. Flowers place. and the sea. Flowers yes. and the Oh my God, it would be like, oh, that would be amazing. Um, all right, so does anybody have any questions for Martina about becoming a co-creator? Or, you know, for example, if your life is in a shambles or you feel like your life is in a shambles, and you're wondering how you can change it. Rebecca, go ahead. <laughs> I hope you don't mean, oh, my life is in a shambles. But... <laughs> my life is not in shambles. Um, OK, you're cutting a out a little bit. conversation. I love it. Good. So what's your question? Uh, about that, is that better? Uh oh, uh, becoming a speaker. Okay, you have something to talk so about. So I <laughs> purchased just a coach. Right. Yeah, forgiveness, forgiveness. What it is that most like? Um, I just think they have it all wrong. <laughs> that might sound presumptuous, but. I went through a very arduous journey to forgive my mother and uh, the rewards were amazing, but the process was very different than what I hear other people say. So they say, well, forgiveness is a decision. Okay, so because you're, you keep cutting out, you might want to get to the start gist of your question. But then you got to do the work. Of course. Okay. Um, so my point is, uh, I do healing work. I do energy, spiritual energy healing work. And sometimes I do it with individual clients and sometimes I do it with groups. But when I speak from stage or wherever, maybe it'll be Zoom or whatever, um, I want to know, I got this idea that I could transmit the healing while I'm talking, like that it would come through me so that it's not just talking to people, but it's helping people to transform if they want to receive it. Is that true? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, have the intention, yeah. 
Rebecca, that, you know, that when you're speaking, that you are sending out <laughs> healing energy, vibrations, empowerment, whatever, and it, it, it will be so. Exactly like that. It's wonderful. Yeah, it, it happens on automatic. Just always now, speak I, from I, your heart, not from your head. Exactly. Yes. Yes. Well, I had an experience with a client where he fell asleep in the session. So I started doing all the downloads in my mind. Right. So and then I started being guided and it went faster and faster and faster. And I'm like, slow down. I can't think that fast. And the answer was no. Speed up. You don't need the words. And so he said that was like the most powerful session we ever did. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> Thank you. Yay. Good job, Rebecca. Thank you. Yeah. Great. And, keep, and keep doing it. Keep opening yourself up to doing Absolutely. more and more of that. Just trust yourself that it works exactly like that. Play around and have trust. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Welcome. Um, and, you know, so part of that, you know, has to do with the, with the trust and also you know, just doing it, right? right? So, you know, like just uh, just saying, okay, well, this is this is what I'm gonna do. I'm I'm just being the vessel. I'm allowing the divine energies to flow through me in the best and highest way possible for the person that I'm working with. Whether it's one person, whether it's a, a group of people, whatever. Just have that intention beforehand, right. and then just do it. Yep. Show up. Basically, your job is to show up. Right. And and just do it. Um, I came from that manual method, one-on-one -on -one method. And then a friend asked me if I could help her horse. And I'm very enthusiastic that, yes, of course. And then, wait a minute. <laughs> this is a manual method. This horse is 178 shoulder. <laughs> How can I do all these things that I need to do in the time required for my protocols? And so I said, how to do that? And I just started doing it in my mind. And it did work. I didn't question it. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm that type. I never question things. I try it out. It works. Wonderful. I don't need to know why. or just, yeah. Oh, it works. Wonderful. And since then, I'm doing it over distance. And it's so powerful. And it doesn't matter if it's humans or animals. It just works. So don't yeah. question those things. If you feel like you want to try something and step away from, you have to do it like this. It only works if you do it like this. No. This is maybe someone's way doing things, but maybe yours is totally different. And follow your path. Find out what's in for the highest good of all. It cannot go wrong. There is no wrong or right. And if you're coming from a place of service, of being the highest good for anybody and everybody, it's it's perfect. It's it's all good. It can't exactly. go wrong, right? Exactly. So the, that's that's what I do. It's like when I do my clearing calls, healing calls, I never know what I'm going to do beforehand. I just have a general idea, and then then I show up, right? I show up, and then it just and it, then it comes yeah. and it happens. I have no Same. control over it. I'm, I'm I don't have an agenda per se. You know, but it's like, how can I be of the highest benefit to this person or this these group of people or to humanity or to the planet? Right. Same for me. Flow through yeah. me. Just flow through me. Right. Exactly. When I'm talking, it just comes through me. Sometimes a little bit of knowledge, in my case, comes uh, uh, into game when you talk about physical health. But other than that, it just goes through. And yeah. when I'm doing a process or now working with my method, it's far away from the basic method I've been studying. Um, still using some basics and principles, but other than that, playing around, whatever is given, just doing that, not yeah. questioning it, just doing it. And this is also, um, Rebecca, where the energy flows through your words. Absolutely. That's, you know, that's how it is for me too. When I'm, when I'm talking, when I'm doing my own calls, whatever, it's the energy is flowing through my words. The words are flowing through my, through me. I'm not, I don't have, like, I, I don't know what I'm going to say kind of thing. Right. So it just flows through me. And I trust that whatever as whatever I'm saying, whatever I'm doing, however I'm being is of benefit to somebody. Right. 
I'm not speaking for, for the heck of it because as you can tell, you know, my voice does not really want me to. So I was like, all right. So, you know, that when I am doing anything, it's for the benefit of whoever is listening, whoever is there, whoever is receiving. Simple. Have that intention. Okay. Yep. Good. Good luck. Have fun with it. Play. And that's the thing. Play with it. You know, just experiment, right. play, and try out different things as they come to you. You know, you're going to get little insights from time to time. It's like, oh, let me try that as well. Let yep. me incorporate that into what I'm doing. Yeah. And see what and see what happens. And that's co-creating with the divine, with the universe, with your guys, with your team, with you know nature, etc. There we are again. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Good. Thank you. All right. Anybody else have any questions for Martina about you know creation, about the future? If you're having any struggles with anything right now, um, raise your hand or type a question in the chat. And you know, when it comes to like the future, you know, like a lot of people are afraid of the future, but it's like, we don't know what the future is going to be. The future is unknown, right? But it's like, how are we going to react to what shows up? Okay, so I always look at it, it's like, we don't know what's going to be, but how am I going to react? I'm going to, I'm going to come from a place of, you know, integrity, of trust, of love, of openness, of adventure, but, you know, but, inst instead I mean of fear. Yeah, fear is never a good idea. But when we <laughs> come from the here and now, yeah, then we set the foundation for the future. So nurturing myself, being happy for no reason, sets the foundation for my tomorrow. And therefore, we don't know what the future is. There we have another one of my recordings detaching from the outcome. Mm -hmm. Right? So... Yeah being okay with whatever the result is. And we never know, is it necessarily a bad experience to lose a corporate job? Or is it maybe the biggest chance you ever get in your life to finally do what you always wanted to do? Absolutely. Or is it a disaster? You had this accident and ended up in the hospital. Maybe you meet the love of your life there maybe the doctor or somebody that is visiting someone is exactly the person you were looking for you may have never met when you wouldn't have had that accident so don't judge things of how they appear it's not necessarily bad and it's okay also to be sick it's okay to die the last two years are like it's no option to be sick and it's no option to die well really <laughs> of course it's an option and it's also a way of healing so detaching taking away those attachments and looking at the plain fact i had a car accident it's just a car accident nothing more Nothing less. I lost my job. I lost my job. Nothing more to add. And not owning the negative thoughts, but being okay. Being happy instead would be even better than just okay. Will open up the portals for something magical mm -hmm. in front of your door to come in. First, get to okay. <laughs> Sometimes it's 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 hard just to get to the okay, but get to the okay, and then exactly. then raise your vibration more and more and more. Um, right. Stella, go ahead. <clears throat> you want to unmute yourself? Unmute your audio. There, I there find it. Yeah. Good. Well, while you guys talking, it's very interesting. I am a masseuse, but I feel like I can do, I want to do something, but I don't know what. I, I don't know what else to do. I mean, what what is it? I mean, I don't want to go to work in the office, but I, I feel like I need to do something. I don't know. Do you guys feel, what can I do? Because I don't, I can't, I don't do massages all the time. I, 
I, uh, when I'm home and in Vegas, there is not that many people that I see when I am um, do massages. I go out of town. I go to Los Angeles, San Diego, San Francisco, but home, I'm not that busy. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I want to do something, but I don't know what to do. So what do you like to do? What's fun for you? What would be fun for you? Everything is fun to me. I no, like it. Not everything. I, you don't want to go skydiving. That's not fun for oh, you. Oh, no, no. Well, to help people. I like to do something to make people happy or to help them in some way. Okay. So you, you can't make people happy, but you can definitely support people in some way. Of course. Yeah. But right now I have an issue. I'm supporting uh, my, you know, in Venezuela, the circumstances of people are very bad over there. So the, my husband's son uh, is not married, but has a relationship with this woman. And he is acting terrible. He's not giving them no food. He's not sending, taking her no food, uh, not buying clothes for the kids. So I'm buying clothes for the kids and sending them food. Now, He's saying that we are causing this woman not to do anything because we send her food. She has a four and a six year old. Mm -hmm. Listen at in a out, listen a, in a chat because they don't even have a bathroom. I send the money to make the bathroom, and he took not the money but the uh, all these uh, materials to make it, and he didn't. Now he's making a big thing so that we don't send the money. He told his wife he doesn't want us to say nothing, but he still hasn't bring them any food in the house. I don't know whether he's lying or she's lying. Mm -hmm. Martina, what do you have to say about that? Well, how, can, how can we support Stella? We have to understand that we cannot help everyone. And sometimes we have to cut off that there are other people that are grateful for any help it can be anything like food it can be just being there for them or going for a walk it doesn't matter they are grateful for that but some people are not and so just stop that it doesn't make sense sorry the woman is very grateful because she's eating since and the kids are eating and the kids got two in their feet yeah but he's but not then she that woman has to make a choice and somehow leave that place with the kids you cannot do that for her you can encourage her to take that step Maybe you can help her find a place where she can stay or whatever. I don't know any of the circumstances. But you cannot help them by sending over food or anything like that. That don't, doesn't change anything. She yeah. has to make a decision. Well, she wants to move, but she, does, she, can't, she doesn't have no money to, to leave any, you know, to move. I, I'm willing to help her. I told her, go and find a place far away from where you live you with the rent yeah so she needs to also you know take that step right so it's exactly. like you're doing something she also needs to do something to change and her the, situation and there are wonderful ways out there there are so many alternative communities now that have been founded also over the last two years um where you can find a place where you can stay for a really low amount of money maybe even in, in exchange for helping with gardening or anything like that she can do house sitting um there are so many opportunities but she has to take action right you so, can so talk to not, her about that right make her happy through teaching her about the next step and encourage her and be there for her maybe support her by doing that that's maybe important but giving them food and the situation doesn't change Right. Right. Doesn't help anyone. And I mean, the, 
if there are kids, that's a disaster if they live in those circumstances. They need to get out of that. Yeah, yeah. There's two little kids. It's so sad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so but we also should not forget they choose to live there. Right. So there is also their path to it. But that doesn't mean it has to stay like this forever. But the mom now has to make a decision, a decision for herself and then the kids. But in first place, it's for her. And this is not to be mixed with being egoic or selfish. No, no, no. She, from her heart, has to make a decision for herself. And of course, the kids will join her. Right. 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 So support her in that way. Okay. Yep. And see what happens. Okay. Thank you. Good. Thank you, Stella. Bye. Good luck um, with that. Brenda did did post something in the chat. Uh, in the chat, what I see. Um, I don't know which country do you live, but there are a lot of home pages out there where employers and employees find together with that issue that you have or not have. <laughs> so maybe educate yourself. I know for sure from Canada, I know from Australia, and I'm pretty much sure it's also there for the USA. And you will find contacts, yeah? Are you on Telegram? Okay. Alara, maybe you can connect the two of us so I can or I can send you the details you are on, on uh, Telegram and I can connect Brenda to the um, yeah. Telegram group of uh, Alberta. Mm -hmm. it's, it's wonderful. There are amazing groups out there and uh, supporting each other. So shops that don't require any jab or test or anything. So there is a way and that problem can be solved. And I was just gonna say too, like, you know, um, this I still think this is a temporary situation that we're in. Right. But so in the in the in the meantime, is there something else that you can do without having to get jabbed? You, you, you know, maybe not in your field right now, but is there something else that you can do to, you know, to support yourself as you're until we get through this? Because you know, there are some places that you, you know, they will not change their mind, they will not change their policies, whatever, right? But um I would need a I would need a haircut and my husband. So maybe you can come to Croatia. <laughs> <laughs> no <Yeah>. jab needed. <laughs> True, right? So I also look at that right now too. It's like, you know, what else yeah. is possible here for yeah. in in the meantime? In the meantime, right? Get creative, and creative means thinking outside the box. But thinking about right. okay, what else is possible here that I can do that. I don't need to be jabbed if that's not what you want to do, right? Exactly. Yeah. All right. Anybody else have any questions? Um, so, Brenda, are you in the Telegram group for the Laura Canfield show? If you're not, um, join. The link is on uh, everywhere <laughs> in the emails, right? And then I will connect you with Martina, okay? Uh, so there was some, somebody... One Paul, Paul Ray Lee. Yep, yeah, I'm here. Hi. Oh, there you are. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I was just wondering um, what you would think of somebody who's uh, in a situation that they want to go forward, but um, memories of the past and the and the emotion um, in particular is very powerful um, from the thoughts that they get from the past. And um, uh, that's stopping them getting on and living now. Mm -hmm. um, I just wondered if there's any thoughts or advice you could give on somebody that's in that position, please. You're giving away your power to the past. The past does in no way exist how you think it did exist. It's stories that you're telling yourself. This is how our brain works. Time does not exist. All happens in the now. So it's another timeline where we refer to as our past. 
And it's about stepping into your power, knowing that you cannot change the past by overthinking it or giving it space in your life. It doesn't change anything. You cannot change what we call the past by being there. It will exactly create the opposite. This is why it's so important not to be there because anytime we go back into what we refer to being the past, we recreate the energy of said past. And if it was traumatic, do we want to have that again? No. So make a conscious decision. Step away from the story that is not even true. It's a story that our brain created until it liked the story for what reason ever. Make a conscious decision. Let the past be in the past. My recordings for sure can also help you heal this information, kind of like rewrite those stories so that they go on neutral, that you get the lesson from what happened, but you can drop the drama part. This is, when I'm working with someone, this is basically what we are doing here, rewriting the story so that the event has happened, but just as an information. And then looking at what did it do to me? Where, where have been the benefits? And so, you know, one of the things with the past is like, what lesson did I need to learn, right? So I know that for myself, and it's really hard when we do have uh, really emotional past stories, right? Emotional past experiences that we had and to try and make sense of them sometimes. I, there is something that I've been trying to understand for 30 years. I, I don't get it. I don't get it, right? But the thing is, by me focusing on that, it's not going to help me create my future, all it's doing is really poisoning my present. Right. Okay. It's affecting my present because I'm focusing my energies on that instead of, okay, that happened. Yes, I, this is how I felt. I don't understand it. Okay, fine. But how do I want to feel now? How do I want to move forward now? What do I want to create moving forward now? And also like what I had to do and tell myself over and over again was, I am not the same person now as I was then. This situation that I am in now is not the same as it was then. This person that I'm involved with now in this relationship with now is not the same person as back then, for example, a relationship, right? So I had to tell myself this over and over again in order to allow that past to not have as much of a hold on me as it did. Yeah. So hopefully, hopefully that helps. And then, you know, <laughs> It's like, then I really was proud of myself that, wow, I got through that and I'm still here. I'm still here. I got through that. It was horrendous. I, I can't even tell you, right? It was really bad, but I'm still here. Mm -hmm. I didn't let it stop me, that situation, that's, that experience. Right. That's exactly the best thing to look at. Wow, here I am. I made it through whatever it is. And I think we all went through this or that and it doesn't even the definition of what is a drama is individual for everyone so it yeah. could have been something very little or a really big event that's absolutely not the point but it was a trauma for you but don't allow this trauma to longer any longer define you you made it through you're a wonderful infinite divine being sitting here now on this call you wouldn't be sitting here if you haven't been going through whatever yeah. it was and it was needed for something and maybe situations repeat itself and then you are why does it happen again but every time it happens again we step into it on a higher level so we learn a little bit and then it happens again we take the next lesson and so we grow through that so even a situation repeats itself over and over again don't beat yourself up because of that it's just this journey to get there it could be easier but hey there are 
hundreds and thousands of layers and programmings that stop us from doing it instantly, which would be possible. Easy and effortlessly would be possible if we were not human beings. We choose this human life and therefore we have the human challenges and nothing so hopefully wrong that with helped, that. Yeah, um, yeah, it does. Thanks. But one of the things about it is that one can be so um, wrapped up in it, emotionally involved in it or whatever, that um, one can't think of um, people say that you've got to have an aim in life. You've got to know where you want to go, what you want to be. And in order, and then you can work to it. But if you don't have a name, you don't know where you want to be, then you can't work to it and you've got a problem. So how does one who doesn't have know what their aim in life is, doesn't know what they want to be, uh, how do you deal with that? Yeah, it's, a lot of coaching. It's not a, it's, that's not something that one person can do on their own. Sometimes you need support. So, you know, when I was going through a lot of my stuff, I had a lot of support. I had, I still have this person in my life from back then and I had to talk it out, talk it out, talk it out. And yeah, you know what? I'm still, I'm still searching. Like, what am I supposed to be doing? Is this it or is there something more? So that's always going to change. But the thing is, is like, find something that you're interested in. Something small, start with some hobby of some sort, just something to take your mind and energy out of that situation and into something that brings you joy. Right. But this is definitely something that you want to get more support with than we can give on a call like this. Okay, thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. And, and just know that we've all been there as well, right? And we're sending you so much love and support. Thanks very much. Yeah, you're welcome. I mean, if it was for you or for if it was some, for somebody else, but yes, absolutely. Um, <clears throat> Martina, was there anything else you wanted to add up about that? It's exactly what you what you said. It's a. I I, I couldn't notice his um, desperate need for something, but really, this is something we need to to keep track on. We need to work on, um, look into it. It's multiple layers, and yeah. so a, a a continuous support would be really really good here. Life can be beautiful if we allow it to be exactly that even for you Paul so just find a way find someone where you get the support you love where you have someone that is listening to you that is guiding you that is teaching you that maybe can do some some exercise choose someone where you resonate with the energy and ju then just step forward and it's a step-by-step -step process. It's not right. going to be it's something that you figure out in one minute. You know, it's just going to be a step-by-step -step process for sure. Right, right. Um, so St Starla is asking, any suggestions to unlearn shame or unlearn anything that has been ingrained in us from a young age? Yeah, bring in more love and joy and uh, uh, compassion for yourself. But go ahead, Martina. Yeah. That's basically it. I mean, where did the shame come from? Um, very often we are talking here about abuse. I don't know if I hid it here, but that triggers a lot, the shame part. And um, children always feel responsible. What did I do wrong? What was my part in here? I have... Uh, one of my recordings where I brought in um, the Ho'oponopono prayer. And I can recommend that really to everyone. Mm -hmm. Only one thing, you don't do this prayer for anyone around you. You're doing it for yourself. Right? That's the yeah. most important part here. I'm sorry, please forgive me, I love you, thank you. So it doesn't even matter if it's about physical pain or the emotional part or the shame thing where you are like, I'm sorry that I still 
carry that emotion with me. Please forgive me that I'm putting this pressure onto myself that I haven't found a way yet to release it. But I love you. I love you so much and I thank you that you did that for me, that you carry me on every day, talking to yourself, to your little one, forgiving yourself. And you do it like a mantra, repeat it, repeat it, repeat it, repeat it. I once had a situation and it was not a nice situation. It was also some situation that came up over and over again and it got worse over the time because I didn't get the message. And one day it was really bad and I just pulled back, closed my door and did this prayer. And I did it beside some sleeping for two and a half days in a row. But then there was this moment where it was crystal clear in front of me what was my part of why the situation was like it was. And it never happened since. It's so powerful and really use that. It's about forgiving yourself. So Paul, that's something that you can do for yourself as well. Yeah. I know I used it from time to time over the years as well. So it's really yeah. helpful. Um, so one thing that, that came to me too was about uh, some people, you know, believe this, some people don't, it's okay. But, you know, are there entities involved? Are there entities that need to be cleared from your field, in your, in your energy field? You know, that it's possible. Take a look at that. Um, but there's so much support available for you. And um, Martina can definitely help you as well with supporting you with the recordings and or a personal session to help you to, you know, in, in whatever way that you can. Um, Karen is asking, can you please repeat that mantra? Yes, of course. It's very easy. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. And, and if it you may happen, happen to do it in another way, just really, if, you, if you happen to mess it up and do it in like, you know, another way, it's fine. It'll still work. Okay. <laughs> Don't use telepathy during the interview, Alara, please. I just <laughs> wanted to say that. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> um, I, I, I've done it so many times. Like sometimes I say it in that way. Sometimes I say it. I say, I'm sorry first. And sometimes I say, thank you. Like whatever, you know, it's like. Right. It doesn't the really matter. Is, the intention right. is there. <laughs> I really like to, when I do it the first time, I really like to fill in the blanks. So what am I sorry for? What do I want to forgive myself for? Telling myself that I love myself and say, thank you. But then later, just repeating the words, just those those four sentences, those four little sentences. And this could be for something happening right now. This could be for a situation in the past. This could be for anything. 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 It's, it's good for anything, right? So if you can't do anything at all, you can definitely do that for sure. Right. Okay. Work with that. And again, it always comes down to, it always comes down to loving yourself and accepting yourself, accepting right. the choices that you made, accepting the situations, accepting your part in something, you know, it's like, yep, this is how it was. It just, it just even accepting that. It's like, yep, this is how it was. This is what happened. How it was is maybe not the right wording, but this is what happened from what I remember, from what I perceive. Right. Okay. This is, you know, instead of resisting it, instead of saying, no, it didn't happen, or how could that even happen? Whatever it happened, right. you experience this and then get from there. It gets so much easier when you take responsibility. Yeah. It's like, okay. This is what I did. This is what happened, period. Then that way you don't dive into the beating yourself up part, feeling not good, being in stress mode with a lot of adrenaline, having no clear thinking, nothing. But if I look at it and say, okay, I dropped whatever and now it's damaged. It's my friend's thing. It's that. Okay, now, sorry, this happened. What can I do to replace that or make it better right just yeah. find a solution to the problem not creating problems on top of the problem 
Yeah. So, so stop beating yourself up. And right. I, I say this from a place of total compassion because I used to do this all the time. I probably still do, but I used to beat myself all beat myself up all the time. I had put myself on the cross and I was punishing myself for years. It didn't help me. Oh. It doesn't help. But when I, when I, you know, started to love myself and accept myself and have compassion for myself and forgive myself oh. even, you know, and being being an allowance of this is who I am. This is the situation. This is what happened. I did the best with the tools I had at the time. Exactly. The tools I, I have mean, now are not the tools I had then. I had no tools then, right? So, and I, and the simple fact is, we are souls having a human experience, and we are having this physical brain, and this physical brain does funny things, and so funny things happen in our life. Yeah. Nothing and to to beat you up because of anything. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Take responsibility and that's all good. Rania says, in Greece, they are cutting off the time I can have my job. I will have to get suspended after the 31st. Being suspended or apply for my pension are my options, both not promising. <clears throat> Being jabbed appears a new normal, and young people like my daughter feel that not wanting, feel that not wanting the jab, yeah, blah blah blah, yeah. And you know, my my kids the same thing. You know, they they're like, mom, just get the just get the jab. Who cares? It's not. Look what you're missing out on. It's like what? What am I missing out on? <laughs> Well, I have uh, two clients actually in Australia. Both are unjabbed. One was now forced to start working online. She didn't really like that. She was working one-on-one. -on -one. But she said, well, that's the only way to work now. And the other one did quit her job. She said, no, I'm not doing it. And she fully trusts everything will go well. That's the trust part. Stand mm -hmm. strong for what you believe is true and the universe will deliver. If it's trust. what you believe, I wouldn't take the shot. That's my personal opinion. I'm not taking it, whatever happens. And so opportunities will pour in. Universe so has a clear message. The question is, are you willing to see and receive different opportunities? Right. Or is your mind fixed on only one thing? Yeah. Get out of the box. The universe has fantastic opportunities. You could never think of that because what not yet had, has happened in your life is not in your brain. Mm -hmm. Only whatever happened or what you heard or what you have seen is stored there. Anything else is out there in the universe. And you limit yourself when you only think of those things that are already there. Yeah. Then the universe cannot deliver the miracles to you. That's why I see, keep saying, ask what else is possible here? What else right. is possible that I don't even know yet? That, I, that, I'm not even, right. that I'm not aware of. Right. Right. And when you're asking the question, you're not asking to get an answer like god's not going to talk to you and say something but it's like you're asking because then you're opening up your mind and your field and your heart to receive that's it right so ocean goddess <laughs> i love that name ocean goddess the council of orion's message the other day on this show uh was to drop all judgment and and expect success in everything so drop all judgment and expect success success I don't know what I said, right? And so that's the thing. Where are you still judging? Yeah. What is right and what is wrong? What is good? What is bad? What's, what's acceptable for you and what's not acceptable? I mean, someone made these, what we look at like rules or labels, thin or fat or tall or tiny. These are all labels. Who made them? Where do they come from? Does these models that wear size 34, is that normal? Or is a 42, sorry guys overseas here, that's European numbers, but a 42 or a 44, is that the normal? It's it comes even- It down to what's normal for you. 
exactly. And it's even like uh, these um, some some indigenous people. I don't know if it's Hawaiian people, but there was the most thick person was the leader of that tribe because he was thought to be the most powerful one and to be rich because he was having this weight. Mm -hmm. And if he walks around here in Europe or in the US, it's like, oh my God, that's a fat one. I mean, so take away those labels. It's and, all and good. Ex and I love that, expect, expect success and everything. So are you expecting success or are you expecting chaos and trouble and and disharmony what are you expecting well i'm a little bit struggling with the word success but uh, <laughs> yeah yes uh, 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 expecting the miracles the positive that's how i would success is for me linked to a lot of negativity I don't know if that's true. I'm not a native speaker, but I'm normally very good with those things. Yeah, absolutely. We are co-creator and um, but success. I really don't like that word. Maybe we can put in miracles. miracles okay, but see, good. miracles for me is like. Mm. <laughs> so everybody choose their own word. What about exactly. that one? <laughs> Choose your word, what works for you, right? And again, that comes down to what, what, what expectations do you have of your reality and of your life? Right. Right? But expect good things. I'm going to say good fortune, exactly. good things to happen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> good. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for that, Ocean Goddess. All right. So we um, let's take a few minutes, Martina, and talk about the packages that you have for us this time. And I'm going to see if I can share my screen in a second. Um, let's hope so. Let me first right. sort my chaos here. <laughs> is it chaos or is it something else? All right, so. Um, it's this creative chaos. Oh, here it is. <laughs> but you can just look on the screen because it's all there, right? So ah, wonderful. That's, that's cool. <laughs> so there's two packages, package A and B that are available for you. Um, and there's a 10% gift right now for the next 24 hours. So if you use the code TACS10. So package A is about harnessing your power as a divine co-creator of the world, right? Becoming a powerful co-creator. So you can read all about this part later on your own, but let's talk about the recordings that we have here. Right, so I created these recordings and one leads to another. There is also in the folder that you will, um, get when you buy the package there is a pdf that gives you an order unfortunately dropbox doesn't allow you to sort the recordings like you want they choose some random thing i tried to put them in the order they should be but they it didn't work maybe that's not my um, um but when, when you purchase um and in the invoice and in the link you'll they, they are in the right order i put them in the right order Oh, that's lovely. Thank I you. Hope. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, I did. I recorded them in a way so that one leads to another. This is why I also um, recommend to listen to each of the recordings. So start with the first one, listen to it for seven days, then go to the next one. If you feel you want to listen longer, then go ahead. We want to embody and own this frequency. We want to get to that point. And if you need more than seven days, that's fine. Go ahead, then listen to the second recording and do it in the same way. Those of you that feel already advanced, which some of you are truly, then feel free to listen what you feel called to listen to. Right, but maybe mm -hmm. start with the first one, but you can go quicker through it. Just follow your intuition. When you have done it once, um, then you can freely listen to what you feel called to listen to, what you feel is the most burning thing you want to still 
deepen and um, embody a bit more. So we have the first recording, the power of the present moment. We mentioned that in the call today um, quite a bit. And this recording um, can help you to harness the power of the present moment. Don't underestimate that. It sounds so weird, just being, being happy for no reason, obviously not doing anything in the old 3D way of doing, and that should do the trick, but yes, it does. That's exactly the point. It's the foundation for how your future and with that, the future of the world will look like. Mm -hmm. Then we have the second recording, trust and patience. Your intuition will guide you always. And now we have to trust because so often what our intuition tells us, the outside totally looks not like this gonna ever happen or that this would be okay. This recording reminds you to fully trust your intuition no matter how that the outer world looks like. It will teach you to fully trust the universe to have your back and accept that everything shows up in your life at the exact perfect time. The third recording is about detaching from the outcome. We also covered that in our conversation and it gets so much easier when you stop the judgment. When you stop this expectation, just leave it to, to the universe. Whatever happens, happens. Have trust and patience that the right things are about to happen. No expectations. You are not disappointed. Wouldn't that make life much easier? You will never feel like you failed or you're unloved or anything like that. That leads to the next recording, the power of taking responsibility. We have been talking about that as well. Blaming circumstances or other people leaves us feeling helpless and uh, powerless. And that recording allows you to recognize the power in every situation, your power in every situation and to decide how you are part of the co-creation of your experience. And last but not least, we have the becoming a divine co-creator, participate in the evolution of humanity. With that recording, you can step fully into your role as a divine co-creator. You are a powerful soul having that human experience. So discover how to fulfill your own soul contract as well as your part in the evolution of humanity. And all these recordings come with really, really powerful energies. And I decided as this is all so powerful to support all of you that buy one of these packages for each week with individual recording with remote work so that it goes deeper, that it goes really down into your cell, that we get it into your DNA imprinted. Awesome, good. So, so package A is available for 177 and it has two and three part payment plans available. And like I said, the 24 hour special is available for you as well. Use the code TACS10. And then package B is everything in package A, there are five recordings plus a five weeks of the remote healing support, plus a 30 minute block clearing personalized session with Martina. So Martina, can you, can you just explain a little bit about what that looks like? Well, this session can literally be everything. It can be questions about the whole journey. I can tune in and see, get some information where maybe a block is stopping you from getting there. What's the problem? Um, doing a um, 
some some clearing work where we will rewrite a story for you so anything is possible in that 30 minutes just leave it up to the universe i am open um everything happened to me already from business coaching to healing work um to processes and i think we will be in that area because it's so powerful and maybe you need a little bit of support beautiful with that and you know and that's the thing right now a lot of people do require support and that's okay right so yeah. sometimes we just need a little bit of support to get us to the next level to the, get us right. to the next point in our on our journey so package b is available for 247 and again this is with two and three part payment plans and the 24 hour special tacs 10 um, so you definitely want to take care take advantage of that <clears throat> Sorry, just go ahead. a minute there is a ah there is a typo no is it? package yeah it's not marlena's package oh yeah 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 sorry <laughs> martina martina's not a package. biggie but yeah it's martina's package so um and then i was just gonna yeah yeah yep 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 i'll fix that not to worry um was there anything else so so tell me martina who is who is this package for somebody who needs support, somebody who is going through challenges, who somebody who needs more clarity. It's basically for everyone. It's for beginner. It's for people that are already quite a bit on their path of awakening. Because at the end, this co-creator is this amazing, powerful thing where you all, hey, we, you, me, we all together, we can create the world. And definitely, we don't want the world to look like right now. Mm -hmm. And so we all need to step up at our power and change the world as we would love it to see, where it benefits us, where it's a beautiful world for everyone, where everybody has enough of everything, where there are not a handful of people that gets richer and richer and richer on behalf of other people. We are no longer slaves. We are free, divine human beings. And therefore, we need to add our power. And therefore, this package is really for everyone. Doesn't even matter if it's physical pain, if it's mental, emotional, spiritual, wherever you are on your path, you will find the perfect energy. This is the highest possible frequency that I put it into the recordings. And awesome. it can only benefit everyone. And that's the thing, these recordings are so powerful that they're going to shift you to the next level. They're going to shift you to move you forward to become the co-creator that you truly are, that you've forgotten that you are, right? right. Awesome, good. So anybody have any other questions? Anybody um, have any, I don't know, what, what, what you think is your biggest block that's keeping you from becoming a powerful co-creator? <laughs> Forgot that part. Because <laughs> uh, maybe Martina can help you identify what that is so that you can you know, either work on it on your own or get support from Martina to actually clear it, right? If you want to uh, identify, have Martina identify the biggest block that's keeping you from becoming the powerful co-creator that you are. <laughs> it's written here. Paul, go ahead. You want to meet yourself? Yeah, I think um, my biggest block is I don't believe it. I don't believe I can. I don't, uh, I don't believe it. Yeah, basically that. You don't believe that you are a powerful co-creator. Yeah. Yeah, I don't believe I can do it. I, mm -hmm. I've had so much negativity in my past and all that. I just don't believe it. I can do it. That's so often that people tell me exactly that. And again, maybe we need a little bit longer and cannot just do it like that. But the package has these, basically you're listening five weeks to these powerful recordings. If you decide for package B, we have this 30 minute session. 
maybe you want to keep working with me so we can change all of that. It is possible also for you, Paul. You're a wonderful soul and you're perfect like you are. And only we have to, to uncover that for yourself so that you can see it. If I can see it, you can see it too, but we have to show it to you. We have to remove all these layers of false beliefs for you. And there, there you need help. We cannot do that. I have my to-go person if I'm not feeling well. And so it's absolutely okay to reach out for help and to ask for guidance, to seek guidance. And, you know, even that belief that I can't do it is, is a belief, right? What if right. you, what if you change that belief to, you know, maybe I can, yep. right? So, you know, there are lots of things that I don't believe I can do, right? I don't believe I can do certain things. But then when I see other people doing it, it's like, hmm, how come they can do it and I can't? What, what, what is it about them that they can do it and I can't? They're not any more yeah. special than me. Yeah. They're not smarter than me. They're not more talented than me. Maybe they have a few different skills, but I can do anything that anybody else can do. Right. Right. So I, I, cause I had that fall. So I, that's why I'm saying it's like, I, I get it, but I had to talk myself out of that. And then I had to go back and remember all the things that I have done and congratulate myself and acknowledge myself for all the things I have done. Right. Right, because we forget, and, you know, sometimes all the things we have done. Go ahead. And Paul, you can use something like, every day I'm getting a little bit better. That sounds authentic. And even the most critical subconscious mind is not kicking back to you and like, oh, no, 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 wait a minute. Because a little bit more, this is something your brain can considered to be true so maybe you want to start using sentences like that every day i'm getting a little bit better every day i'm getting more healthy whatever you want to to use here everybody else of course as well that's a powerful thing that i also love to do yeah, affirmations and all that uh, yeah, affirmations. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, it's not basically an affirmation. I'm those that know me know that I'm not using affirmation. The key is here a little bit more. So don't do affirmations. They don't work. Every day it's getting better a little bit more. My bank account is growing every day a little bit more. A little bit more is the key. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, keep trying. <laughs> Good, you can thank do you, that. Paul. Thanks. Yes, thanks. Good, awesome. Uh, so just really quickly, um, Brenda, Brenda, Brenda. For, so for Telegram, I can't put the link in here, unfortunately, because just, I don't know, it's not working. Um, but if you go into the live page, there is a, a button there, the Telegram icon next to the Facebook one, click on that and you can join, but you do have to have a, a phone. It is, you have to sign up on your phone, join on the phone. But it's okay, phone. it's safe, and you can hide the phone number, choose a username, so anyone can only find you through your username. Yeah. It's, it's safe to be there. I did only survive on Telegram and Signal over the last two years. <laughs> Yeah, I have signal too, but that's, I don't even know how to do that. Um, uh, Laura, so, sorry, go ahead. I would like to speak out. I worked with Martina for the last year. I met her, it's sort of at the beginning of COVID, and I work weekly with her, and I, I know that she can bring anyone, Paul, or anyone else that doubts themselves, you will get there because she has the ability. This new set and the uh, she she's tried a couple of them out on me as a gift, and to get me where we're going. And uh, it is a teamwork. And Martina's vibration has increased so much on this last 
tryouts that she gave me a, a, a treatment, it's up way over more than 20% where she was before. And in all the time I've known her, I always end up feeling upbeat, positive with more tools in my pocket. And the one every day and every way I am better, better and better. That honestly works. Your ego cannot say, no, it isn't. If, if you jump too far ahead, it, it's not going to believe you. But Martina has so many abilities, if you can possibly make it. She does work on individual sessions and it's certainly worth discussing with her because she has abilities. Way I've been teaching for 12 years myself in spirituality and Martina has topped everything I ever knew. So give it what you have. She has a heart that is beyond Anything that I could have ever imagined in my heart openings just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And I have blessed myself with finding a way to afford to have these sessions with such a beautiful, heartwarming person. And, and to go further, this is probably stepping outside the bounds. But when I ran into a wall or, or something that I'm really struggling with, I just say, Martina, you know what, my dear, I'm struggling with this. Can you send me a little of your love? And she does. And things clear. It's, it's miraculous to say the least. And I will never, ever forget her regardless how many lifetimes I spend on this earth. So my heart goes out to Martina. There's, she's absolutely amazing. Wow, Thank you. beautiful, Darla. Thank, Thank you so you, much. Thank you, Darlene. <laughs> that is quite the testimonial. Thank you. That's amazing. Thank, you. Thank you so much. Well, that's all true. <laughs> Love you. Glad, glad to hear it. <laughs> she loves everyone. And she certainly loves herself. The, one of the very first ones is to love yourself. I thought I loved myself. But I go inside and I love that child in there. And I love the young adult in there and I bless them and I bless myself and I ask co-creator source to, to, to work with me and through me. And Martina has brought me so far along the way. I am amazed. Awesome. Wonderful. Thank you. Beautiful, Darla, thank you. Thank you, Martina. Thank you. Thank you for, thank you for sharing, thank you. You women are absolutely amazing. <laughs> Ah, thank you so much, Darla. So are you, and the thing, and the, this is the thing that people don't get. Sometimes when we are going through a lot of stuff, we do need the support, but when we're getting the support, we're also doing the work ourselves as well. That's what, that's, the, it's all about doing the inner work and we can't always do it on our own. And when we reach out for support, it's like, it, it's like, it's magnified even more. So thank you for that. Awesome. Um, okay, Pat, you want to unmute yourself? Thank you, Martina, for your wisdom and your, and your mantra saying every day I'm getting physically more balanced as I walk. This will help me. <laughs> That's is wonderful. There, is there a creative blockage that I have? There is some block I'm noticing in moving forward. It's oh. not allowing yourself to show up, being a bit shy and not trusting your own abil abilities. This is the okay. best talk I can describe it right now. That's, that that makes, makes sense. sense. That makes sense to mm -hmm. me yes, very much. So okay. but why moving are forward. you hiding, Pat? Why are you hiding, Pat? We need you on the other side. <laughs> Okay, I'm getting ready to step into my new boots, I guess. There you go. Wonderful. That's good. <laughs> Moving forward. Thank you so much. Yeah. Awesome. Good. Thank you, Pat. Thank um, you. Very grateful. Thank you, Pat. All right. So uh, Jackie is asking, Jackie says, what does Jackie say? Sometimes others can see things that we cannot see. Can you see what my issue is? So... <laughs> You guys are so vague. It's like, oh my God. But, you know, I'll, I'll let Martina answer that one. 
Wait a minute. I don't know where you are right Can you now. see what Jackie's issue is? Ah, uh, here we are. Sometimes I can see things. Because we all have a lot of blocks. I, I wish you would get that. It's not just like we have one block, but you know, like what is her biggest block that you can tell, you can see? What a spirit guiding you to share with us, Martina. <laughs> um, okay. I'm not seeing any trust here. So trust is a big, big topic for, for, for Jackie. like this I'm not good enough is a very present thing so maybe heard oftentimes you cannot do that too small to whatever not educated enough trust 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 all about trust and that's a big one for a lot of people yeah. you know yeah. so totally understandable Jackie whether it's not trusting yourself trusting reality trusting the divine right? Trusting the universe. And whether, and, you know, if you do feel like you're not good enough in some way, which a lot of us do feel that, you know? Yeah. So there's definitely that the package can definitely help you both of them, either or can definitely help you with that as well. But um, also some of the other stuff that Martina shared will definitely help with that too. All the times that where you feel you're not good enough, use the whole porno, porno prayer, you know, or where, where you are not trusting yourself or the universe, use the whole porno, porno prayer. And then uh, also the little, not affirmation, but statement that Martina was sharing, you know, every day I'm trusting myself a little bit more. Right. Right. Something like that. So Jackie says, very good. You have a gift. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I kind, of, I kind of put Martina on the spot and it's like, you know what? I, I, you know, yeah, so it's like, and so this is about trusting, right? I'm trusting that Martina is going to get what she needs to get for you, right? Because we have that intention that we are being of service in the highest and best way possible. So it's not about our ego. It's not about, I have to get this right. It's about what does this person require? And the universe right. is supporting me and helping me to bring it forward. Right. Right. So of course it's going to come through. <laughs> um Starla, Starla says, I feel like my focus is so much on healing currently. Is that my blockage? Yeah, because there is nothing that needs to be healed. On a soul level, as a divine being, we are healed. We are perfect. Yeah. And focus on those parts of the healing that do already work. then the rest will fall into place. Don't focus on what you don't want. And I always say, you know, like live your life, create your right. life and yeah. heal as stuff comes up. Don't go looking right. for healing because if you're looking for to heal something, you're going to find a million things to heal. And but that's going to stop you from moving forward, creating your life, right. doing what's fun for you. Right. So live your life, experience life. And at the same, when stuff comes up, then say, oh, okay, something's coming up. Let me work on that for a little while. But continue living. Don't stop living. That's my two cents. Okay, Paul. Paul, you have your hand raised again? I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just wanted to jump on the bandwagon. Um, the, 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 what do you sense is my block? What do you say is holding me back? His biggest block. His biggest plug. Well, basically everything comes up, Paul. It's literally you're from not being able, living in the present moment, we are in the trust, we are in the guilt and shame part. It's and the doubt, There's a lot of doubt. It, yeah. 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 No trusting. Also the patience part, not very good expressed here um it's literally a, a big thing it's not that this is bad or anything this is not judgmental paul but it's just a lot of things that need 
a little bit of attention and support and shifting them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So, so maybe it's, you want to take possible. some conscious action. It is possible. Absolutely. And things can also go in the blink of an eye. So it doesn't take, it doesn't need to take years. Yeah. But you have to make the first step and you have to make a conscious decision. Yeah. In the past, it used to take years. Okay, I'll be honest, it took me years. But now, it's like, much faster. Everything is happening right. so much faster now. Yeah. And there's so many more tools available now right. as well. You know, so it actually is a lot easier now to heal stuff, you know. So, uh, or to let go of stuff or shift perspectives, etc. There's it's so right. much, there's so much possible now for you, Paul, and everybody, you know, so. I'm quite, you know, pleased, you know, with who I am now compared to who I was 30 years ago. <laughs> Over the moon, pleased, you know, it's a, it's it's a miracle I'm here, kind of thing. Um, mm -hmm. And but the but you know, do do I regret the experience? No, because it, it brought me so many blessings, and it's brought me to where I am right now here, right. serving in this way. Yeah. Right. So um, it was a gift, and so. Can you see your experiences as blessings and gifts? They, they truly are, right? And they will bring you more to, to the truth of who you are and recognize that you are a divine creator, that you are an infinite being and that you are loved and supported beyond measure. I mean, I cannot even tell you how right. much we are supported and loved, yeah. how much grace there is. I mean, it's unbelievable. It's like... Yeah. There are and no words I? for I'm that. Just, I'm just little Alara. It's like, oh my God. But the, the grace and the blessings and the love that I have received in this lifetime is, you know, I'm so grateful. So, so, so grateful. And so I would not um, give up those past experiences at all. I, no. I don't judge them. I don't criticize them. I see them as gifts and blessings. And show, they were showing me something that I needed to see at the time. And yeah, how lucky am I? How fortunate am I? How blessed am I? So, you know, for me to be able to say that at this point is, is huge, huge. Yeah. You know, where, you know, 30 years ago, <laughs> I wanted to kill myself and I was literally there at the point of killing myself when the divine intervened. So, is the divine there? Absolutely. Is divine always there? Yeah. Absolutely. Are my yeah. guides and support team always there with me? Absolutely. Yes. And I'm grateful. Yeah. And now I get to be with all of you people and it's just like, it's like oh my God, how did I get so lucky, right? I, 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 you know, yeah, I could not have uh, scripted this. This was definitely no. not anywhere in my universe, you know, 15 years ago, maybe 10 years ago, maybe 10 years ago it was, but before that, not at all. So life can life does change and life can change and it's not based on one major decision it's based on little decisions little choices little actions little statements every day every right? single second counts so just make a choice to be happy every single second and you know the series is called awaken to happiness now right so this is about awakening the happiness happiness within you and then and allowing you to express it it's not just about awakening it, but it's about expressing it as you awaken it within you, as you yeah. savor it, as you recognize it, as you acknowledge it, you're sharing it and expressing it out in the world. And that changes everybody. Exactly. And what I've found, it's just good to think back of you as a little child, as this innocent, curious, childlike being. And if you bring what you know today, into the world with this energy of a young child, innocent and curious, that's basically, that is doing what it needs to do. Getting away all these thoughts and programmings that are not needed, but just be, yeah, just go out there. Little children don't think, they just do things. Climb on the tree, mom is dying because her little girl is climbing on the tree. But they don't think about it. They just do it. They're having fun, living life. Right. So be like a child and just live life and see the wonder yeah. around you. Right. You know, and that's why it's like, I, I see these deer every, every couple of days, uh, every single time. I, I love it. 
And it's like, it's the same deer, <laughs> right? So they're just going moving <laughs> from one field to another field, but it's the same deer, right? But I always, I, I love it. I, I look for them every time when I'm um, taking Neo for a walk, right? I, I, I always look for them. And th th that's a little, you know, me being like a child experiencing nature, seeing the deer so peaceful and they look at me and I look at them and there's absolutely like, it's just a connection there's no fear. There's no, they're not scared of me. I'm not going to do anything to them, right? But it's like being like a child and experiencing life from a place of joy and wonder and knowing yeah. that it's abundant, knowing that I'm supported, knowing that I'm loved, knowing that every time I go for a walk, the sun comes out because I ask it to. I expect it to. Right. And I'm, but even when I expect it and it comes out, I'm always so grateful. I'm always so happy. I mean, if people who see me on the road, they're like, what is wrong with her? It's like, I'm so happy, it's sunny. Neo, the sun is out. The sun came out just for us. Yeah. Right? And so that's being like a child. And at the same time, talking to the universe, talking to nature, talking to the sun, being grateful, being grateful for my life, being grateful for my community, being grateful for all my colleagues. I had like, really, truly, how did I get so lucky? It's uh, sometimes unbelievable. We're meant to be grateful. here. <laughs> We're meant to be here. We signed up for this contract for, for this us. lifetime. <laughs> and yeah. And in the past, I used to say, Did I signed up for this. You got to be kidding me. But I signed up for this. That was just a part of it leading me to right. this, leading yeah. me to here. Right. So it's all good. Everything happens for a reason. And um, you get to choose your next step. You get to choose your next decision you get to choose your next action based on the present moment not the past and not the future you cannot it's from the present moment only that you make the next choice so you are a co-creator you're always creating with the universe in every minute you just weren't conscious of it right so now be conscious of it be a conscious co-creator and create the life that you desire right martina <sighs> Yes, that's absolutely the truth. Everybody of you is a creator, but do it consciously, then it is exactly. It's much more joyful and it's much right. more what, you know, empowering when you choose right. for yourself. So hopefully this was helpful. I know it was very enlightening for me as well. And I'm, I'm glad that um, I was able to share a little bit of my story as well to help in some way. I can, I can, like I said at the beginning with Rebecca, everything I say that comes out of my mouth is to help somebody, anybody right. who's listening now or later. So I don't have to say this for myself because it's like I lived it, right? Yeah. So I'm not saying it for me, but I'm saying it in the hopes that it will help you in some way. And Martina it does the same. And more, right? So as Darla said, gave that beautiful testimonial about Martina's work and her experience with her and working with her. It's like brilliant, you know, so much support and so much change and so much fullness of being for Darla and opening up new awarenesses and insights, etc. So what's possible for you? Yeah. Anything and everything. Absolutely. Okay, Everyone any last words you. of wisdom, Martina? Because I could talk forever now that I'm on a roll. <laughs> I know we gotta go, it's already 11 o'clock here. Well, I think we covered it literally all or a lot of this topic. As you said, we could go on for, for hours, but please know that you are truly all divine co-creators and come with us, move on to the next level. The world needs us. Let's just add our energies, trust yourself trust that you are already the healer and the co-creator step forward take your next step however that looks like if it be my recordings if it'll be like i don't know meditating or whatever you else you do just do it move on it's all perfect keep moving forward one little step at a time one little right. action at a time Right. One breath at a time. Keep going. Don't stop. Beautiful. Thank you so much, everybody, for all your questions. Um, again, the packages for Martina are available at laura.at forward slash show forward slash Martina one. So please do take advantage of the 10% 
uh, gift code, which is uh, available for 24 hours, TACS10. Please use that code when you purchase. And Martina, again, thank you so much. This was, uh, this was brilliant. I loved it. It's so relevant and it's so needed. And yes, your, your recordings are so, so powerful, like Darla was saying but not just the recordings, your session with you is going to be transformational. So please do take advantage of that. And thank you, Martina, for the work that you're doing in the world, showing up. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you for you being you, for offering this platform, the opportunity to show up in front of all of you. Um, I couldn't do this work without you, all mm -hmm. of you, but special thanks to Alera for thank setting you. all of that up. Oh, thank you so much. And you know, this it's about showing up, showing up in your life. It isn't about, it doesn't have to do with anybody else or anything else. Show up for you in your life. That's what it's all about. Okay. It doesn't have to look like anything else. Just show up for you in your life. Right. Be here now. Oh, it's a book. Be here now. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, thank you so much, everyone. And until next thank time, you. may you continue to be blessed with an abundance of joy, peace, love, happiness, prosperity, radiant health. Sending you all much love and blessings always. Bye for now. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you, Paul. Brenda, I will connect you to Martina on Telegram, okay? Yeah, awesome. All right. Bye, everyone. <laughs>